Rich, it has been quite the run this October for nice weather. It has been. It actually, it stretches back into September, actually. If you recall, it was a pretty warm month as well. And if we look at the two combined, the number of days at 70 degrees or above, we're already, and keep in mind the fact, what is to the 6th? I think I've lost track of the 7th. Thank you very much. I mean, we're only six days in in terms of our high temperatures, and we're already in third place for the... Uh, most number of days 70 or warmer for those two months combined. And it looks like we're going to be in the 70s over the weekend. So that in itself should probably put us above 1991. And then we're going to see more 70s, it looks like, as we head towards the latter part of next week and the following weekend. It's the summer that won't go away, which is OK. But at some point, it'd be nice for it to rain once again. So we'll keep watch on that for sure. So we tick up on our 70 degree days. Take a look at the Bellingham Tower Cam. Uh, we've got uh, looking pretty good, maybe a little bit of light fog out. There's about all we can muster. The good news is the fog we do have this morning is patchy, not as dense as what we saw the other day or yesterday, actually. You can see we can actually see the departure deck out at SeaTac and not looking too bad there in Tacoma. Temperatures mostly in the 50s, though our Silverdale School Nest site checking in at 61 this morning, so pretty mild out there. Smoke model shows that we put that into motion. We're going to be looking for that smoke to continue to come out of the Cascades over the weekend with that offshore flow continuing to diminish our air quality. And if we take a look at the high resolution uh, air quality site uh, from airnow.gov, you can go look at it yourself. See these little small sensors around the center sound a lot in the moderate range. But as you get out towards the Cascade foothills, even now, see some places down into the orange, which is uns is unhealthy for sensitive groups and a few places like Snoqualmie Valley was down in the unhealthy range earlier. So that's going to be the pattern on through the weekend. So for today, tomorrow and for Sunday, we're going to be looking for some patchy morning fog, otherwise sunshine temperatures in the mid to upper 70s, maybe touching 80 in some spots. Amazing. As we head towards Monday, we're going to be looking for still mostly sunny, cooling around 70, partly sunny Tuesday, maybe a morning sprinkle, but it won't amount to much. And then right back into the uh, upper 60s and low to mid 70s for Wednesday, Thursday. And it looks like all the way into the following weekend. Pretty remarkable overall. It's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. What a stretch here.